So you're wondering how we got that in there. Right, so we have to start by jacking the vehicle up, undoing all the drivetrain and everything underneath the engine, drop the engine out, just so I could get the drill driver up there to be able to put the screw up in it. Big job, it took me three days. Everybody, excuse the wind noise today. It is very, as you can hear, very windy. Right, so today we have another job. Now this one is a VW T4. Many of you VW experts will know, this one is a Swamper. Now the difference? Swampers have been lifted and got off-road all-terrain tyres and if they're slammed obviously they're hitting the road almost. So with this one, yep it's another diesel here I'm afraid. I'm not going to go through the full install with you, I'll just install it and show you what we've done afterwards but I've also got to do electric hookup. So I'll show you where we're going to put that and I'll give you a bit of insight on what we do on that as well a little bit later. But I'll keep updating you through the video build, through the bits and pieces we do. Um, because surely this time of year, there's so many diesel eaters being fitted. I'm doing so many of them that you must be getting fed up with watching the videos. So, because it obviously it's a VW, I thought I'd put it out there, show you what we're going to do and how we're going to fit it. Good morning. So, we had a bit of a very, very productive day yesterday. So, at the moment, we're on putting the electric hookup point on this van. It does look good, I've got to give it that. When I get my T5, it's having the swamper look. I was going to go for the slam look, but because it's going to be a work van, it needs to be. But when I get my own T5 as a camper, it probably will be slammed. I'm diverting again. Right. Should I say I'm digressing? What I mean to say is we need to be getting on with this. So there's the electric hookup wire. As you can see, we're going to put it under the bonnet here. And it goes down through the gland down there. Can you see where that red wire is? That is the um, split charge relay cable. So it's gone through there, down through the floor inside. Under all the flooring inside, we had to pretty much take under the dash apart. Um, and up the side, the driver's side, towards the back where the electrics are for the 12 volts, so we're going to keep them all in one place for him. And also, we managed to fit the heater yesterday. And these vans ain't that easy to work on, as I thought. Right, so there's the van, and just behind the driver's seat, there's the fuel tank for the heater. As you can see, there's the blue cable which runs for the electrics, and there's the heater under the seat. So we put the heater control there. We had to extend the cable to be able to get the control to fit there. And if I show you in the back, <coughs> and there's the blue cable poking through to hook up to the consumer unit once we've fitted it in.
Damn, I'm good. Let me show you the electric hookup on this vehicle. There it is, just there. And the wire is P-clipped just down under there. Don't know if you can see that or not. But if I just point just there, we P-clipped it to the back firewall, and there's the electric hookup point. Now, what a drama this has been to put this in. Obviously, we need to be able to screw up from underneath, but this big lump, they thing they call an engines in a way. So you're wondering how we got that in there. Right, so we had to start by jacking the vehicle up, undoing all the drivetrain, everything underneath the engine, drop the engine out, just so I could get the drill driver up there to be able to put the screw up in it. Big job, it took me three days. Nah, not really. <laughs> I know none of you believe in that from the moment I said it. So. We used a good little toy. And if you should have anything in your toolkit, get yourself one of them. A right angled screwdriver for your drill. I've got a DeWalt one somewhere, but as the workshop, as the workshop is such a mess, I had to buy a new one. So yeah, the right angled screwdriver, up underneath there and it's nice and solid that's going nowhere plus it's nice and discreet so when the customer is out and about he can lift his bonnet up plug his electric hook up in shut the bonnet back down because there is enough clearance between the panel there and the bonnet all I've got to do now is go back inside and put both the electrical sockets in place so that's going to be a lot of cutting some more wiring in fact, quite a bit of wiring. Okay, let's talk about uh, electric hookup in this VW Transporter T5. So, has the customer already had his 12 volt system there? And it has two uh, 140 volt socket there, which is connected directly to the hookup. And that is connected from the back box there down into the consumer unit. And then the wire goes over there down the back and that's the wire that goes down through the front and out of the bonnet. Uh, where the hookup point to plug in is actually located. Well everybody that was the T5 video. I know it was a short one, not a lot, but it was just to give you an idea where you could put a, I suppose your electric hookup point on any vehicle. Um, it's becoming quite popular to put them under the bonnet um, because one is very discreet. Secondly, you're not drilling a massive great big hole in the side of the bodywork of your van. And um, it's quite a good place to put it, really. But that was the main thing I was going to focus on today was that, although we did fit the diesel heater in, I say when I said T5s are not really sort of uh, working friendly, what I meant was underneath, literally everything's covered with, um, if it's not heat shields, it's plastic panels. But it gives good places to hide wiring if you're going to have lights on them. And 
I'm debating. I say I'm debating. No, I tell a lie, actually. I'm going to get a T5. That is it. We're looking for a mobile workshop so we can do stuff at the workshop and also travel around the country doing jobs on vehicles as well. So if you do have a vehicle and you want something doing to it, let me know. Um, because we will be going, we do go anywhere anyway now, so it's not a problem. We've got vehicles that we throw the tools in the back of and away we go. But that's neither here nor there. Today's video was about this T5 and it was a lovely little project. And I was really surprised at the age of the vehicle and I was really surprised at the condition. It was immaculate. Been very, very well looked after. Um, the guy that brought it to me, great guy, funny, and seems like he really enjoys the van. And he's given me another supplier for something um, for doing a metal work done. Because the roof rack on his was absolutely mint. That's the only way I'm going to describe it. Absolutely mint. Anyway, before I start waffling and carrying on and waffling on and going on and on, I'm going to call it a day there. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're staying well. I hope you're staying safe. And most of all, as I always say, staying very, very happy. Bye for now. <laughs>